Welcome back to another episode of The Locker Room. If you're for the boys and you're for football, this is the show for you. Here's what we have on the slate this week. NFL, our games of the week. Ballsy picks, what underdogs might ruin some seasons this week. Our bet the boys parlay, which again, we're batting 0%. We suck at parlays. Somebody lost a bet last week in the college football world. We're talking all championship week. Somebody lost a mustache bet. We have a brand new person on the show this week. And then we will have our fan call in parlay. Unfortunately for Davey, he lost for the boys last week. It's going to be a fun episode. Consider subscribing. Leave comments throughout the episode. Big hugs, tiny kisses. Let's have a day. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the locker room. My name is Taylor Lewan. <laughs> to my left is Will Compton, and to his left, Delaney Walker. Let's talk about who's presenting the show today. Let's have a little enthusiasm. The locker room, the locker room is presented by Fireball Whiskey. Fireball's back again with the perfect party starter for holidays. Whether you're hanging it, hanging it, slapping it, or pouring it, the non-denominational holiday-themed whiskey stocking is the must-have gift this year. The mustache gift. <laughs> it's literally a stocking full of fireball that you can hang on your mantle or toss around the room with friends it's a literally a stocking full of fireball that you can hang on your mantle or toss around the room with your friends go drink fireball you guys excited for the show today you ready to have a good time yeah 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 mustache of the week jack mcpherson oh, what the fuck are you oh, doing what man? are we doing have dude? some professionalism my fault. This is a show. Hey, God. Who was, was it though? Answer it. No. Answer it. I'm not answering. Who is she? It's Al Smith. Y'all know who Al Smith is? No. Played. He played for the Titans back in the yeah, day. Yeah, played to LSU. D tackle, right? No, he uh. <laughs> Just not. <laughs> Al Smith, go on. He played back when the he played for the Oilers. What's he calling you for? Uh, he probably wanted me to do an event. You think you're gonna do it? The mule. They want the mule at the event. Yeah. They want the mule at the event. Nah, it's a, it's it's sponsoring COVID, and I uh, I don't believe in it anymore. You don't believe in COVID. <laughs> no. Delaney Walker, anti-vaxer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just messing what around. a start to the show, man. Hey, uh, I am pissed. I got uh, you know jabbed during the NFL free agency stuff. Oh, you had to get a shot. Yeah, for him to play. Remember. Oh, yeah, that's why that I might, didn't play that yeah, year. Yeah, that might have been your first year, like, actually yeah, yeah, being done. But yeah. you had to basically have your Vax card if you wanted to get any consideration. Like, I had some some of the homies who were free agents that, you know, they should have played that year, and they didn't get it. So they weren't even considered to have, like, workouts or nothing else. So you, like, had to have it just to get it. Even getting like, the facility. Yeah, to even have a longer conversation than, hey, is so-and-so, is Will in shape? Yeah, does he have his card? If it's yes, you might be able to do a workout. If it's no, that's going to be the end of the conversation. Done. Wow. See you later. Yeah. That is crazy. It wow. works out like well, that. Well, so that, that makes sense because he worked for the NFLPA. They pushing that narrative. Yeah, yeah. To get like, but they're only doing it in black communities what? to get COVID shots. Oh, These conversations are above us. Above <laughs> yeah. us. Well, it's not above us, though. 12 Titan this this week. The Lady oh, Walker. Yeah, yeah. 12 Titan? 12 Titan, dude. I don't he just know if I'm a 12 now. Titan. Legendary legend of the game. There you go. Legend of the game, <laughs> Delaney Walker. I'm not, I don't think I'll put the sword in it. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. I found out yesterday. They tweeted it out. I, I mean, I knew it was coming, but I didn't. I don't know what I'm actually doing. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. What, do you, what is your expectation? Do you think this is like a Ring of Honor, the start of a Ring of, Ring of Honor thing for you? I'm definitely gonna go in a Ring of Honor, but not now. You, you think know? so? Oh yeah. Come on. Come on, bro. Ain't nobody. It's only you're, you're the best tight end. Yeah, it's only Frank, two tight. The argument is Frank Wycheck. Frank Wycheck. I broke all his record. All his records except one. Frank is the top dog. I'm no hands down. Rest He's in, in it. Frank is in it. Frank is in the other uh, ring. Of ring yes, yes, he is in. It. And then I'm the second. And it ain't gonna be nobody to pass me in a while. Is looking like. Yeah, but there's so many people. <sighs> there's so many people that uh, should get in before, like Michael Roos, maybe Michael Griffin. Maybe uh -huh. Taylor Lewan. Probably Taylor Lewan. Before me? Oh, no, no, not before you. No. Oh. Not before you. <laughs> after 23, I yeah, die you, in a after car, you, fiery no, car no. accident, and they're like, we're going to You're definitely him. going in after me. 
They have all I'm saying is they haven't done it in a while. Like, no, it's been a long started, time. A long I time. think it's gonna happen in a new stadium just so they can get that that <clears throat> that buzz going. Yeah. yeah so once that new stadium come up, watch they gonna one of us gonna go in. It probably it probably will be Jarrell Casey first. It'll be Jarrell, you and Michael Roos. Michael Roos may I think go. You put Michael it Roos may in. be Michael Roos first, just to be honest with you, or Chris Johnson. Oh yeah, bro. He's not yeah, in it. Yeah, he's not I in he was yet. In no, it could be Chris Johnson, Michael Roos, Marcus Mariota. Ah, no, they not. Ryan Tannehill. They not put Marcus. Oh, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry's still, he still playing. He got to still be playing. Yeah. Yeah. Still they playing. not gonna put Marcus in. I just feel like them and Marcus had a bad taste, and they both they mouse when they left here. So you know how they did Marcus. You know how his, his spine was jacked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah, try yeah. to say well, we don't, he didn't yeah, want to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Hippa, 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 hippa. Be cool, be cool, be cool. Taylor, you won't get considered unless <clears throat> you grow that mustache back out. Yeah, yeah. Nah, cause it, it, that's what he came in his first first year here. He was the baby face Johnson. Babyface Johnson, the one. What you think of the the stash? I think the he's fucking up. ugly as hell, but you know. No, hey, you're cute. You're no, definitely he's cute. definitely ugly without his mustache. You look weird. I don't know. Yeah, it's my kids. My kids literally keep saying, "I come home, I'm like, girls." And usually, they all they run to me, and it's a very heartwarming yeah, they, moment of my day. They run in, they make it a point to go, weird guy, weird guy, weird guy, and then they turn around and run away. Hey, you should have did this at first. You should have. <laughs> when your youngest just walked in the house without showing her and then dropped it. Oh yeah, when I we did we have a little video. Oh you did. and when when's like, why would you do that? Yeah. I was like, well, Daddy lost a bet. She goes, why would you make that bet? Yeah. And I go, honey, I don't know why I make any bets, <laughs> but I, <laughs> but I do every single week. Yeah, you look different. <clears throat> I'm gonna yeah. keep it funky with you. You look yeah, different. Yeah, I do. I feel like my me's gone. Yeah. Like who I am is kind of like missing right now. Since I was a child. Literally, since I was like eight years old, I've wanted a mustache. I yeah. saw a mustache. I looked at it. I was like, I want that. My second tattoo was a mustache on my finger. I see. I see. I've always just kind of that wanted a mustache. That same mustache yeah. that you just cut. A I've, 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 I've piece of me is gone. It's bothered you in such a way you made a comment before we even started this episode that was a little on the fence. Was it Jared's comment you're talking about? The the bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, said it kind of Bro, cool. all I'm saying is it'll be, be cool, cool to be by. To be so by. Like, hey, I'm just saying. Is it because of the mustache? Let's just say, hypothetically, everybody in here is heterosexual. We're all attracted. I mean, I would say everyone in here. <laughs> hey, come on now. They try to say Sherm not, you know. That's the word on the street. If there was a person. <laughs> I mean, Sherm is in the chats always going, who's going to kiss Sherm? Who's going to kiss Sherm? <laughs> yeah. 50 likes and we'll, we'll kiss Sherm. Yeah. It's always his burner. If you read this pumpkin, you have to kiss me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, yeah. yeah but was... listen, all I'm saying is this. If you're just attracted to one gender, assuming that right now we're just having, having a conversation of two genders. Locker room talk. If you're just attracted to one. Yeah. It'd be kind of cool to be attracted to both because that's twice as many people that you'd be like, yo, let's go. Not saying we're like that. I'm just saying the thought process there is just having more things to be horny about. Why you just can't be attracted to slim, fat, ugly, and then that's more <laughs> females you can talk to. Okay, are you attracted to like all Delaney? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you. you are. You know, you know how when they're like, oh, she's thick and how it kind of muddies the waters for gentlemen like ourselves. I know. When I got to college, first time around black guys, they're like, oh, she's thick. I'm thinking, oh, I got a big butt. No, she was just fat. <laughs> she was just fat. And I got so excited. And I got there, I'm like, well, we do, we're going to do one-on-one? Like, what are we doing here in this dorm room? Be, What's going on here? I would be honey. We just put, a, we put a, a bar down, put some shoulder pads on so you can push each other farther. It was rough. See, well, I see. Well, I'm not like all those dudes. Like, thick see? and fat is two different things. Like, mm. I know this new era. Yeah, but y'all, y'all thick. thick is a little different. Nah, not mine. <laughs> I'm from LA. <laughs> that when you, when I'm from see, LA. <laughs> you know, we got a lot of fit people. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I know the new trend. You know, she on Instagram huge wearing the, the tummy tuck thing and they look crazy good but she pushing 240 that ain't thick bro <laughs> delaney walker on that note it's a thursday game <laughs> you get what I'm yeah. nfc north battle I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> packers at lions lions are favored by minus three i'll go first go for it two three weeks ago lions were favored by 13 and a half i took them they hit oh we uh two weeks ago they were favored by eight Took it, 
hit. Last week, they're playing the Chicago Bears. We'll get to my ballsy pick in a little bit. They're favored by 10. I'm thinking to myself, this is when they kind of take a little bit of lull. They still win the game, but they don't cover. That hit. Packers, they look good. They're playing well. Josh Jacobs running the ball well. Ground game is always substantial when it comes to you get to get into December. But I think the Lions are a complete team. I think the Lions take this thing minus three, no problem. William. Give me Packers. Why? I think line in the sand, you you gave your explanation. If you if you follow my picks, you can fade me against the Lions because a couple weeks ago I'm taking the underdogs that have all of those points on the mm-hmm. board and Lions and I'm covering. Last week I was like, listen, if there's a week to go against the Lions, it's this week because I'm no longer taking the underdog. I'm taking the Lions with the points. They failed to cover against the Bears. So you're 3-0. and If you're fading me, you're also 3-0. and um, So I'm going to go Packers and just see where the luck actually is in this whole – in this so whole bizarre world that we're You're in. basically doing this for Lion fans. Yeah. It, look, it, if if it's trending that way, then you're favorable to pick the Lions. But if you're if you're going with you, this is where, hey, who's actually right? Is it Fade and Will? So I think in this instance, now I have to actually take the Lions. Do you see where I'm at in my head well, right now? No. Why don't you pick the picture a little bit more? If you fade me, you're right. If you faded me for the last few weeks on the Lions picks, you are 3-0. and So if I take the Lions this week and you fade me, the Packers actually win or the Packers cover. People so now I'm taking you. the Lions. Now that I've talked to myself in all of these circles, I am now taking the Lions. So I'm with you on the Lions. Well, I'm going to go to But you're not. You're with me just saying a statement, but in your head you're Will, thinking, fade me so the Packers Yeah, cover. Will is 0-3 against the spread with the Lions. I'm taking the Lions. 0-4. Oh. So if you're... If you if you fade me, you'll go four and zero against the spread. If it's if you're pure, if you're purely going off of me, so I'm going the Lions to figure out if you're right or if it's just fading me. Gotcha, Delaney. I mean, I, I feel like the Good odd makers the wild circles got right there. there. Got there. Again, got there. y'all making it my, y'all making it seem like it's a trap, and I think the odd makers are making this a trap. This is a trap game. And the reason why I say for that who? Division, division for opponent? betters, for public betters, this is a trap game public for betters, public betters. Okay. The thing comes down to it. The green Bay is a good team. Got a great defense. The Lions is a good team. Explosive offense. Defense is good. Can they stop green Bay? It's going to come down to that. That odds. What, what was the odds before they moved them to three and a half? It was Four, right? Before it was moved to three and a half. Yeah, it's starting to move trend it's, towards the Packers. It's starting to trend towards the Packers. Because Packers do, like, they're going to start picking it up late, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, and if you look at last year, the Packers went into uh, into Ford Field and, beat, and won 29-22 against Detroit, a team that was striving to be where they at now. I kind of see the same thing. So I'm going to take the Packers. This is going to be a game – I think the Packers cover. Do, am I saying they're going to win? No, I think they're going to cover. I guess I think it's going to be a game that's won by either one or two points, and that's why I think this is a last second field goal. Last second field goal. Look at this game. Look at this game. This is going to be a game where the the, the Lions will win, but it ain't. It's going to be as crazy as everybody think it is going to be because I the I mean, yeah, they're Packers, both racing in that division right now. Both. It's of a them. big game. It's for a both big teams. game. Yeah. Big mm. game. Big game. I mean, I like it. Like, I, yeah. again, I'm, so staying, I'm staying Lions. He's going Packers. I'm going Packers. Gotcha. Gotcha. We're both Lions. He's Packers. Packers three and a half. It's kind of like a nice little one and a half each because you're Lions, but kind of Packers. I'm Lions <laughs> for sure. Yeah, and yeah, you're yeah, yeah, Packers. I'm yeah. Packers, yeah. All right. But I think the I Packers are going to cover yeah. this one. I love it. I don't know how we got here, <laughs> yeah. but we're here. Yeah, we're all here. Uh, great game. teams. Great teams battling. Yeah. It's a straight gamble game right here. You want to hit Game of the Week? We'd love to hit Game of the Week. Presented by Georgia Boot. Mm. Georgia boots, America's hardest working boot, designed for the hardest jobs, all day comfort, keep your feet comfortable on long work days, on long work days, durable construction, lasts through heavy use in tough conditions, trusted by hardworking professionals like yourselves. Step in the ultimate comfort with Georgia boots, America's hardest working boot, and use code BUSSIN to get 20% off at checkout and experience the durability and comfort trusted by hardworking professionals across the country. Head to georgiaboot.com now. Again, that is 20% off. What a Christmas gift. Go ahead, D, show them. Wow. Hey, boy, nice. I'm big into those, those boots that they made the boys. Yeah. Do we have those? Yeah, those they are, over yeah, there. Right, right there behind Delaney. I don't know if the camera can see them. Go ahead, Sharon. If that's not necessarily your color, you got the MN. A nice little mahogany as well. That's very nice. Wow. Wow. Do they sell Bust with the Boys boots? No. 
my game of the week, dude, I'm rolling with uh, I'm rolling with the Browns mm. plus six and a half against the Steelers. Mm. I think the Steelers win this game, but I think the Browns keep it close. Browns are playing like Jameis Winston coming in and bringing life to an organization and a team that was clearly dead throughout the year. They still are dead. Like, they have nothing to necessarily play for. Mm. But if you watch the hard knocks, you see the old line coach giving the speech that he's giving. Like, they have juice going into all these games. They're expecting to win. We're not going out to Denver to ski. We're going out there to win a football game. They're mm-hmm. very close in that game. Denver's a, a good football team. And I just feel like Jameis Winston, he gives them life, man. He get, And uh, Chubb, they're going to want to get him going. It's going to be tough against the Steelers. Uh, against the Steeler defense. Russell Wilson threw for over 400 yards last week, which he's he's balling. But I think this is, this is a spot to where the Steelers are favored so highly with six and a half points. Mike Tomlin, as a favorite at home, is really 50-50. I'm taking the Browns with six and a half points, and that that's that's my game of the week. I'm with you on that. For the for the stat you put of Mike Tomlin being a favorite at home, like he's not – he's whenever he's a dog, a road dog, it's like a guaranteed cover. Yeah, guaranteed every single time, and even the just a dog in general. Yeah, it makes me a little bit nervous because Russell Wilson is becoming his danger witch. He's becoming his subway sandwich. He's be, he's the dude that he's dishing the ball over the yard. Arthur Smith and him have something going on that's special. Their defense is always good. Mike Tomlin, mm-hmm. from a strategic standpoint, whether it's two minute, four minute, getting a last second field goal, he's always the guy that has his guys in the right position. But six and a half points is a lot. I think more than anything, it's an over game. I think Russ, the way he's getting going, the way. Uh, the bro, what, James Winston, he's going to throw for a lot of touchdowns. He's going to throw for a lot of picks, and he's going to make for a lot of points. I think this, uh, but to play devil's advocate, this being an under game, it's like two offenses that are coming off big weeks. Russell Wilson had his first game over 400 yards. This could be like kind of a correction in the system. Mm. So they're playing like a competitive rivalry in division game yeah. where the Steelers win it, but the Browns ultimately cover. And Lord, what, what did what did Jameis say? What was the quote, JP? Deliver me, deliver, deliver me from my sixes. yeah, deliver me from my pick sixes. He prayed yeah. during a press conference. Yeah, yeah, that's dude's crazy. one of one. Yeah, he is one of he one. He has nothing to lose, so he can forever, dude. He can be this guy right now. Uh, yeah, he's like our he's like the modern day Gronk. Yeah, he just kind of he's just himself whatever, all the time. Yeah. yeah, people at first weren't a big fan of it. Now they're a massive yeah. fan of it. Everything he kind of says, everyone's just like, "This guy's the fucking." It's guy. because he's not the, the franchise quarterback. Because if he was the franchise quarterback, I feel like some people would be like, "Take this goofy personality and be like, oh, we don't like that shit." It's like Baker he'll... in Cleveland. True. Different personality, but True. still like a goofy ass. Yeah, they didn't like that. Didn't like it. But now, they would, dude, they would pay billions of dollars for Baker right now. Now, now. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. Have that team that was like getting in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'll take that all the way. Delaney. Yeah, I'll follow suit. All right. So you like the Browns plus six and a half as well? Against the Steelers, yeah, for sure. All right. What's yeah. what's, uh, what's your Georgia boot game of the week? Oh, my Georgia boot game of the week <laughs> will be Seattle versus the Cardinals. Again, you know, I love the Cardinals, what the Cardinals got going on. But I'm going to have to stay away from the points this game. I'm going to take the under, 45 and a half. The reason why I'm taking the points uh, is because both teams um, both hit under five out of six games. The Seattle Seahawks hit unders five, four out of five games against NFC West teams. Both teams right now, I'm going to say the, Se- the Seahawks' defense is fi- firing on all cylinders. But their offense isn't really firing like they did in the last eight weeks. They haven't been firing like uh, they did in the beginning of the season. Cardinals, their defense has been holding it down. Cardinals' offense has not been firing these last three games. They've been having um, – Kyle been throwing three interceptions. He throwing more than three interceptions these last three, uh, last three games. So, with that being said, I don't think it's going to be a high-scoring game. So, I'm going to take that 45 and a half. I think it's under. moved down to 44 and a half. It moved down? Yeah, it's moved yeah, down. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still going to take that 44. And again, like Coop, like had, the Cardinals. Coop had the stat as well. I like o- the Cardinals, o- too. 0-2 since the new Black Ops 6 map came out. Who o- been 2 o- o- Oh, hey, because he's been playing. Don't Kyle do Murray. my man. I know he has been throwing. The new map dropped. It's 0-2. Yeah, no. Uh, that is tough. But I'm taking a, I'm definitely taking the under on this game. This is going to be, a, I feel like, a low-scoring game. It's going to be based on defense. If the teams can score, it's not going to be many touchdowns, many score uh, points. I love how the board. season's worked itself out so much that we're leaning heavily on, like, gambling data. 
Yeah. Trying to follow yeah. trends. Follow yeah. trends. Yeah. Look at analytics. Yeah. Everything. What's yeah. going on here? Okay. You got to. Yeah, we, got the, we got to buy low. Hey, sell you got high. to. Yeah. You have to. I, uh, I like the Cardinals. Yeah, I like the Cardinals. I like the Cardinals, to win I like too, the Cardinals in that game. They, 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 get, they get back at Seattle. I think this the second time they played in three weeks, four weeks. This yeah. the they three lost weeks. the first. They lost the first one. See, they lost to Seattle the first time. The Cardinals. Remember, I had them. Yeah. They lost. Mm-hmm. Seattle been on fire. They've been firing right now. Yeah, so. without fact checking me, I th- I'm pretty sure those games split when it's like two games You're right. in three weeks. And especially usually, in the same they conference. Split. And so it's I like a- the Cardinals. Yeah. Uh, my game of the week. I, I don't know what it is about this year, but I'm into big spreads. I'm into it. I look at the teams and how well they're playing. <clears throat> Eagles in their last five games have covered. And they're, they're favored by 12 against the Panthers. Panthers are a little bit better than we thought. We saw uh, Bryce Young getting all giddy like a 12-year-old boy when he got a win about four weeks ago. His last three weeks, they've lost by exactly three points. Yeah. Two of those teams, not good teams. The one good team that they lose their three points to are the Chiefs, which we found out this year. They're going to win, but it's going to be ugly. ugly. So they're never going to really cover. I like the Eagles. I love their run game. I love their defense. I think uh, – they're kind of flipped their storylines from last year. Like no one was really talking in the beginning of the year this year. Now they're starting to come on the scene in a big way. They just had a big win against the Ravens. Last year they started so hot and then we saw the abysmal end where they're calling for the head coach's head. I think this is the year they maybe get over that hump. I think they might make a big move in the playoffs. And if Only you, to be – The headlines too recently with uh, Sirianni is like going into the bye week. I forget what week it was, but it seemed like him and uh, Jalen Hurts like connected via FaceTime over the phone, like a one-on-one meeting talking about FaceTime's culture and everything man, else. Them. And they're like trending like in the right direction as far as like culture and leadership and all the things that was kind of being said about Sirianni, about how he's coming to life now in his role like mm-hmm. as the head coach. But I like that pick too. Because I feel like no matter what, the Eagles, they always stay ahead of the chains. And if they get you into that second half similar to with like similar to the Lions, like, dude, they just out physical you, bro. That, that's and even if the Panthers for. keep it closer on halftime, it's like, dude, they just wear you down in the second half. And they have the outfit. They have the offensive line. They have the interior D line. They have cats making plays. Do you see that hit that Cooper DeGene had on uh, D. Hen, the they King? Had. That was a good form tackle. Form tackle. Coming good, up out of the heady. hips. Good base. Yes. Yeah. Great yeah. job. Caught Derek right as he was turning around. A rare Derek Henry catch. But Derek don't, yeah. Yeah. Derek yeah. don't run people over too, though. But that was a great tackle. But he's not the type of person that had to catch a ball, see you, and like – Try to line it up. Regardless, you know, so he tried to, sneaky yeah. athletic. No, no, that was sneaky a perfect athletic, hit. Smart, I mean, ball player. You hit him when you put, when you see him, and that's what he did. He went. The you hit him when ball. you see him. Yeah, I like the uh, I like the yeah, Eagles. I, love I like I the Eagles that. too, though, in that game to cover. I can't wait to see the Eagles and the Lions in the playoffs. Cannot wait to see. No, you just the you Eagles and the Lions. The NFC Championship is or the Eagles the and the Lions. The Packers, man. The Packers, Don't sleep, bro. Well, you kind of fall in love with the Packers, huh? Yeah, it's like you know it, they don't have the they don't have all of the the media and everybody yeah, behind them the same glam. way that the Lions do, the same way that the Eagles do, and the Packers take care of business. And Jordan Love, he's going to continue to get better. They have a run game with Josh Jacobs. Mm-hmm. They have a good opportunistic defense. Yep, I do. I, like the Packers can yeah. make it interesting for the NFC Championship. They all all they say, the NFC is pretty deep. Yeah. yeah, the NFC is pretty deep. Definitely. You want me to do this one? You want to do it? The ballsy? Yeah. I'm talking about the, the, the ad read. Oh, you want to hit it? Yeah, I'll hit, hit it. Absolutely. You want me to? Delaney, would you like to take another swig for Fireball for our ballsy pick? The yeah, Fire? Uh, the Ballsy Pro Pick of the Week is sponsored by Fireball. Fireball is a perfect shot for game day, whether you're buying those sneaky little shooters before going into the stadium or going big with your with a Fireball keg at your tailgate. Whether it's a pregame shot in the tailgate lot or a celebratory touchdown shot at the bar, no matter what, it guarantees to ignite your game day. Please, please, please drink Fireball. By the way, if you haven't seen our, uh, our Fireball series, where we make the drinks, brother. You guys are missing. Fireball that. is the might be the best base for any cocktail, especially in the holidays. The season. greatest compliment in any cocktail that you're making, especially in cold weather, just all around. Yeah. Everyone that we've had is honestly they've like outdone each other. What we do this week? Yeah, what was bonfire? it called? What was it called? Butterscotch bonfire. Butter, bonfire, and dude, Jesus it's like you're Christ. it's like you're drinking a treat. You're not you don't even know there's alcohol yeah. in there. You're yeah, drinking yeah. a treat. That's how good it is. Fireball, good on its own. It's easy to drink on its own. But brother, you make that into a nice little cocktail. Some I'm Irish, telling you, some man. Irish cream in there, especially with the fireplace running. God, yeah. I get home every day. I take my suit off. I fold my clothes. I get in the shower. <laughs> I reshave, and I sit down and have a fireball cocktail. That's what I do because I'm a professional. <laughs> Seahawks money line. We were talking about the, okay. Se- we were talking about Seattle and Arizona a minute ago. I like Seattle, uh, Seattle money line at the Cardinals. Um, that's going to be my ballsy pick. I just feel like 
the NFC West, you have the Rams, the Niners. Niners are very they have a lot of injuries going on. I feel like they're they're gonna be they're gonna be looking at the bottom of that division. But between the Cardinals, the Rams, and the Seahawks, it's everybody's ball game. I feel like Seattle, they had a good win, a quality win last week. They've been running a little bit more. Um, I like Seattle against Arizona and going two and zero in the division against mm. them. So that's my ballsy pick. Right like now, the that. spread is a two and a half. It could possibly move a little bit, so jump on it now. But I love Seattle. Yeah, my... I've already taken the Cardinals. We've oh, already yeah. had that conversation. I'm taking the Cardinals. Yeah. So my... you said you're staying away from it, but now that Will's talking about ballsy picks, is I'm it... just taking. No, he, I'm he's just taking, taking the under. under right? yeah, he's taking yeah. the under. You said you're staying under. away from the. Yeah, the I'm game just staying itself. away from the game itself. I'm just, you know, it's getting late in the season. I just got to be real smart about my bet so I can, you know, come out on top of this. Because what happened end last of the year. year? I mean, you know, last year I wasn't able to finish this. Yeah, the mule fell off toward the end of the no, year. No, no. I had, playoff, I had to playoff go start, do, you shoot your playoffs. Playoffs, I, I only did two playoff games. What I are you think. talking about? Because I left. You started like 80% last year. Yeah. And then you got down below 50 or I, right at 50. No, no. Listen. We, these I mean, dudes, thank God there's tape. These dudes took my spot. They were making my bets for me at the end of the show. That did not reflect your stat sheet. Yes, it did. I'm telling you, it did not. That reflected their statue. The penny pitchers was doing my betting. But let me get to my ballsy picks. Go ahead. I'm going Chargers at the Chiefs. Mm. And y'all know who I'm riding with. Who I'm riding with? The Chargers. Fuck yeah. <laughs> the underdog. The Chargers. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. The ballsy pick. The underdog. Yeah. So I'm going with the Chargers, man. Uh, again, you said it earlier. The Chiefs. They get the game. They they win games, but they do it in an ugly fashion. When they play a team that is probably on the same le- level of them, or even better in the run game, pass game, Denver. they fall. Denver, well, they no. blocked that field goal. Yeah, they they blocked that field goal. They, they, they should have won, won that game, game yeah. and then Buffalo. And now you got the Chargers coming in, who can run the ball. I know J.K. Dobbins is on IR right now, but um, they got a. Um, Damn. Uh, is it Gus? Gus. Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards still coming in there. He can run the ball, big back. And then they starting to lean on a passing game. I don't know if we're going to have a uh, lad back. I know he took a knee injury earlier last week, but uh, that I was, would be a big loss. That would be a big loss. Johnson in the red zone. Yeah, he's been balling. He's been scoring all throughout the year. All week. The but zone. we still need lad. I, I read some reviews saying lad will be back for this game. So I'm excited about that. And I just think with the Jim Harbaugh magic, they're going to get it done against the Chiefs. They're going to make it tough, up. make it gritty. Make it tough. Make it, bring yeah, it down to yeah. the fourth quarter. Get Bloody their nose a little bit like a team. Chiefs, yeah. Like a yeah. Michigan team did to Ohio State last week. It's going to happen. Just so, don't know which week. Just don't know which week. But and it I'm, is going to happen. Yeah, and I'm going to take this money line. It's best if you don't talk. Yeah, no talking. Yeah, no talking about it. I'm with you, though. But I'm, I'm also going to take the over, take too. One. I'm going to take the over because in the, the last few weeks, they scored 26, uh, 23, 26, 27, and 27, and at 34 points in the last six, uh, five games. So I know the Chiefs gonna put points on the board. Chargers have defense. The Chargers now. got defense too, but they will score touchdowns. Would you say the last five games were? They had uh Average. 17, 23, 26, uh, 27, 27, 34. And what was their average in those games? That was their points. Okay. So okay, the okay, average okay, is probably okay. around 26, 27. I'm not yeah, a mathematician. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not a mathematician. They probably did not average that. It was probably a little bit lower. But <laughs> yeah. I thought you said 36. And I was thinking to myself, there ain't no way. I didn't hear a 30 once. What? When you said the average of those points. Oh, yeah, no, way. yeah, no. My fault, my fault. I heard, I heard you wrong. My balls you picked this week, Bears money line versus the, the 49ers. Breaks my heart to do that. I love the 49ers. Mm. I love their locker room. I love Fred we love Warner. Them. I don't even we know love Trent Williams. Niners. I love Trent Williams. I love <laughs> Christian McCaffrey. Heartbroken to see him go down. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Have we gotten a, a status report on him? They were saying PCL, and there's a video coming out of his uh, calf twerking, which made us all obviously fear the worst. Six weeks IR. Six yeah. weeks IR. That ain't, that ain't good when you just fall yeah. without nobody touching Well, he, he hit his knee. I think the play before, he like hit his knee like oh. right on the ground. It, it, it's tough. It's tough. I hate that. I love them so much. But I look at the Bears on Thursday, on Thanksgiving, against the Lions. They were underdogs by 10 points. End up being coming down to a last drive. There's less than a little bit less than two minutes left. Caleb takes a sack. They end up getting a first down. First down gets called back. Then it's DPI. Like a bunch of different things happen. Inevitably, they lose the game because of their clock management. They had one timeout with like 18 seconds left. They let the clock run down. They snap the ball. They fire a ball to the end zone. That really wasn't an end-of-game play. So that is a little nerve-wracking. But when you go to San Francisco, 
and you have a beat up San Francisco team who's so used to winning with the record they have. And Caleb, who is big cat loves them. And I know he's played games to win in the second half. They had zero points in the first half against the Lions. They go in the second half. They're definitely a second half team that just figures out a way to turn it on. Their defense is good enough. I can see them pulling out this, being four point under. And their head coach got fired. They have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. I know and they did fire. Yeah. Buddy, interim head yes. coach stats. <laughs> yeah, interim head coach yeah. that actually have been, been over this year. Over that has been no, no, no. Uh, Rizzy, Coach Riz down in uh, New Orleans. Oh yeah, oh, he, that's right. yeah. He went yeah, on a he, winning streak. Yeah, 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 we had, yeah, we had one earlier this year. And I was like guaranteed win, and it lost. I forget which one. Yeah, I forget which was it? Head coach. I who was it? I can't remember. It's all good. It's all yeah. good. All right. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. We're good with that? Rapid fire? N- yeah. The Do what? Jets. The Jets. The yes. Jets. Yes. With Solomon That's out. Right. Good, good pull, G. That's good right. pull, yeah, G. Good pull. Great pull. <laughs> Garrett. Garrett. What a guy. All right. Rapid fire. Cool. Let's get him. Cool. Y'all ready? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. First game is Raiders versus the Bucks. Bucks are minus six and a half, over under 46. Raiders. Let's go Bucks minus six and a half. Under 46. Next, Falcons versus Vikings. Vikings are minus five and a half, over under 45 and a half. Over. Vikings win in a close one, so I am taking the Falcons plus five and a half. Falcons. Jets versus the Dolphins. Dolphins minus six, over under 45. Dolphins. Dolphins minus six. Dolphins. Next, Jags versus the Titans. Titans are minus three and a half, over under 39 and a half. Pass. Titans. Titans. Trevor Lawrence got hurt. Trevor Lawrence got hurt. He got oh, hurt. No. He's not he's there. Oh, God, the Titans, bro. All those turnovers. Yeah, Titans. Titans minus three and a half. Titans. Triple A step. Bills are minus four and a half versus the Rams. Bills. Over under 49 and a half. Bills. Rams plus four and a half. Last one, we have Bengals are minus five and a half uh, versus the Cowboys. Over under 49 and a half. Bengals. Joe B. Bengals minus five and a half. Cowboys. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Coop. Thank Coop. you. Coop. 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 Fuck it, man. <clears throat> All right, fellas, this, this this next segment's painful, but we hey, we gotta stay optimistic. We gotta Gosh. stay optimistic. We gotta see, stay optimistic. Ugh. Bet the boys parlay presented by DraftKings. We love watching sports, but you know what makes it even better? Having some Tell skin us. in the game. Thanks to our partners at the DraftKings Sportsbook. If you're wondering what the DraftKings Sportsbook app offers, check out DraftKings live betting, same game parlays, and prop betting. You can even follow your favorite Barstool personalities bets by joining the Barstool betting group on the app. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and sign up using promo code LOCKER. That's promo code LOCKER, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. How do you want to go about it this week? Again, this is it's on me. I would like... It's on me every week. <laughs> every week? Hey, maybe... Hey, even like he, Taylor gets a Josh Allen touchdown, they pitch it back to him. I score. Like a hook and ladder looking I know. play, and he scores. He scores. I'm like, oh, he's about to get this Multiples. one. Multiples. Monday night. Maybe one of the boys pick for you. <laughs> yeah, maybe we do that. Do you have a pick? Yeah. You can't just ride the same one. I like to ride until they let me down, B. You can't listen, ride listen, the listen. wave. When I can't are, ride the when wave. When you're over in week 14, brother, you got to just do whatever you can. <laughs> I know. Take Derek Henry. <laughs> you're right. You're, yeah, take, take Derek Henry. Henry. Let me ride the wave with Nick. I'm going to ride huh? the wave with take Nick. Take David Montgomery. Yeah, they have a bye. Take David Montgomery. I like Aaron Jones. I thought David no. Montgomery got took a knee injury, though. Should I go? Oh, Josh Jacobs, that'd be a good one, too. I'm Who's just, yours? Who's yours? Uh, Nick Westbrook. Nick Westbrook. Come on. Hey, by the way, shout out Jack. Jack took Nick Westbrook in two plus touchdowns last week. Y- yeah. And hit. And hit. What was it, plus 2,000? Yeah. yeah. Amazing hit. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, amazing hit. hit. Like, come on. He's got to win MVP this season. Sorry, Josh Allen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got to win. He's, he's a 40% touchdown rate or uh, success rate right now. He has 18 targets on the season and 8 touchdowns. Eight touchdowns, eight catches. I'm so happy for a dude like that, man. Yeah. Who's really been grinding it out. Special teams, role player, Traylon Burks. Hey, you're done. No, you're not. You're back. <clears throat> he gets hurt. He jumps back in. He just continuously man. works his ass off. He does. Is, is he exam- leading him receivers? Example. He lead receivers with touchdowns right now, right, Nick? 
Let me get Jamar Chase. Mm. Take Josh Jacobs. I'm saying if y'all don't hit by week 18, there should be a punishment. If we don't hit by week 18, there should be a punch. I'm so sick of getting on this fucking show. Hey, what the fuck? I'm so sick of getting on this show. Bro, in the last two Hell weeks, no. you've had a, a, you've had always, a shaved head. I always hit, son. And I get to get punched. It's a team sport, Delaney. God, damn, bro. I understand that, but. Jamar Chase, Nick Westbrook. <laughs> Do you, since you since you're the hot hand, do you, would you like to pick mine? Because here's who I'm out of. I hear Josh Jacobs. Part of me in that Vikings Falcons game, I'm thinking Aaron Jones or Drake London. Kirk threw four picks last I'm week. I'm changing my pick. I'm going bounce back. He hits Drake London. Drake London in the red zone. Part of me wants to jump on that. Brian Robinson. Go Brian Robinson. He scored a lot. He on the bye. Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. You feel good about Josh Jacobs? I only feel good about it if my Wait, guys. Wait, they play in the Lions, it. right? I think at this point we have nothing to feel good about. <laughs> this is one of the situations where you, you're literally just sitting in a batter's box, knowing you're going to strike out, but you keep swinging anyway and pray to God. It just but I need my boys. Like you guys have hit the majority of the season. I need my boys to feel good about this. Because if we're going to do, are we going <laughs> to? If we don't hit in 18 weeks, we got to shave our heads. I I'm think the, no, I'm no. Not, I think Josh that. Jacob. Drop a comment. No, we got to know no, what the, we got to no. know what the comments. Nah, say. We'll I talk, can't. We'll talk in the comments. I can't do. <laughs> I can't cut the hair, son. Just get delayed this to shit buzz took, his head. This shit took forever to, to grow rag, back. To get the waves right. I can, I'll shave. I'll do like a little. I'll do. I'll shave this and just keep that. How about that? I don't know if you want shave that I, I, beard, the, the option is. I don't, I don't know if you want to shave that beard. Say. You the, remember, I saved it before. How about I you like get an option? Kid. You either shave your head or you shave everything on your face, including your eyebrows. Fuck yeah. no. I can't do that, bro. You got to pick one, bro. I'll show you my pubes, bro. I'm, I'm, uh, I don't I'm know. This. I'm done with this shave shit. Hey, you're dead. You're I'll dead. show you my pubes. <laughs> I'll grow them dead. out till week 18, and then we'll fucking shave those. <laughs> yeah. Do a landing strip. I'll get a, I'll get a Brazilian wax. Bro, like, shave your head. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> man, I look I, at me. Hey, look at me. I'll die. You like this? I'll yeah. I'll no. dye my hair. Fuck it. I'll dye it a color or something. Okay, yeah, dye add. Bleach it. Dye our hair. Bleach it. Cheetah print. But you, if you get if you get it out with the bleaching, it it's got to be a color from. Yeah, I let I let them pick the color. Let's just hit this week. Yeah. Let's yeah, just hit this week. We'll I'll, talk about I'll it next week. Yeah, we we still got eighteen weeks. It's only what week. Uh, I'm changing 14. mine to Keenan Allen. I'm changing my <laughs> touchdown to Keenan Allen. Dying hair blonde. Shut up. <laughs> Respectfully. You going Keenan Allen over going Jamar Chase? Keenan Allen over Jamar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Josh. I'm not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you guys like Josh Jacobs? But yes, I, I do. Like they going. Right they are going to. He's going to get the ball when they get in the red zone. He's Josh, Jacobs, Josh, Josh Jacobs, Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. He's going to get the ball. Still want Nick Westbrook. I definitely want Nick Westbrook. <laughs> I'll take Josh Jacobs. <laughs> We're going. Hey, look, Jamar we're playing Chase. the Jaguars. If you don't think Nick is going to score, you're crazy. All right, Jamar Chase. I'm not ending this season. With no mustache, shaved head, blonde hair, a nose piercing, a <laughs> Prince Albert, a butt plug. All this shit hey, you guys are fucking a, doing, a, man. A, it's a crazy. Month, a month it's from crazy. now, you'll have the stash back. A month from now, you'll have the stash Allegedly. Back. Don't get bitter, get better. <laughs> uh, man's always got a quote. <laughs> man, your quotes are fun. We're all having a good time. They're not fun right now. <laughs> Jamar Chase, Josh Jacobs, Nick Westbrook. Yeah. That's what, the part What's line. that? What that look? I can't do Jamar Chase. I hate that. What does it matter what it looks like? Yeah, what's it matter? That's who we're riding with. Do we feel? Do we feel yeah, I mean, I'm good. <laughs> I think that's. I think we're, that may be our best hit right there. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I can see two receivers that. and a running back. Yeah, I can that's see gonna that. That's gonna be our best one. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> we're locked. That's gonna be our in. best one. We're two receivers in. and a running back. Let's take a score. break and go to college. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a break and go to college. We got championship. Should we read the DraftKings ad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We got championship week up next. We're going to take a little piss, and we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the locker room. We have just finished the NFL portion, and now we're going to dip our toes into the college football portion. Championship week, boys. Big 10 championship, ACC championship, Big 12 championship, and then the SEC championship. We'll be going over all of those this week, so the college football is going to look a little different. Our trophy game of the week presented by DraftKings, which Will Compton is about to read, is going to be the Big 10 championship game. 
Watching your team win is watching your team win is nice, but why not make it a win-win? Our partners at DraftKings are all about the winning feeling, and right now, new customers who bet just five dollars will get one hundred and fifty dollars in bonus bets if your bet wins. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and sign up using the promo code Locker. Follow all your favorite Barstool personality picks in the Barstool Betting Group on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now, and new customers who use the promo code LOCKER and bet just $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets if your bet wins. That's promo code LOCKER, only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. And what we will be doing this week is the trophy game of the week. We'll be doing the Big Ten Championship. And our tier talk, which we will get to in a bit, we will be. this is championship week. We'll be going over the majority of the championship games, the one that matter. And our ballsy pick that we will get to will be a little parlay that we put together. Which you, you guys all know we're great at parlays. So we're gonna Phenomenal parlays. Out of the park. I like the college football parlays. I do too. I love I college too. football parlays. But we have to solid. be aligned, which is going to be tough because I'm sure there's going to be different ones. We'll have to sway. I'm going uh, to just uh, – I got know, one for y'all. I'm going to side with y'all on these. Uh, yeah, I, I got side one for y'all. knees. But let's start with the trophy game of the week, the Big Ten Championship. Penn State versus Oregon. Oregon favored at, with three and a half points on the DraftKings app. The over-under in this game is 49 and a half. No Ohio State. No Ohio State. No Ohio State. Why is that, Will? Why is mi- that? Michigan beat their ass. They out-physicaled them. Yeah, they out-tuffed did. them. They did. And put their flag on their field. That's and Ryan Day that was shelled crazy. up in the moment. In the moment. Shit his pants. Couldn't Did, handle it. You see the the senior linebacker or D lineman? Jack Ooh, yeah. Sawyer. Oh my God. Yeah. He was hot. He's hot. the only guy I feel a little bit bad for. <laughs> He's the only because it's like 0 and 4, born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> lives it his whole life. If Michigan ever won, you know his dad probably beat him. That's how bad it was. Oh, like, I can they believe hated that. They hated it. And then his son goes there and he's like, You're coming to a rich tradition and beating Michigan's ass for as long as you have. 0 and 4. I and know. all that shit oh, talking he got Michigan to hasn't do. punted. Yeah. Coop, Michigan hasn't punted in the fourth quarter since 2019. Against them? God. Can't throw the ball, Danny. I know. He couldn't throw I it. I know. In the red zone, we throw a pick. What do they do? Three and out. I know. Will Howard, that's our guy. We're going to get his ass from who knows where. His ass is done. <laughs> See ya. Good luck in the league, nerd. Guys can't fucking handle business out there. That's how it goes. They go come back just for this. <laughs> Your season is predicated on the game. True. How do you perform at the game? Six and five ball club. Walks in to Columbus, Ohio. Steals their shit. Takes their women and their land. Gets the fuck out of Columbus. Places a dump. <laughs> we own that dump now. We own it. It's not a rivalry anymore. Yeah. And you're welcome, Penn State. You're welcome to be in the Big Ten Championship. Unfortunately, James Franklin's 0-57 against top five teams. He's actually like a one in 13. Yeah, yeah. Dan Lanning, you see the post, he put the cinema that JP actually posted of them just talking. The Bear Jew from uh, Inglorious Bastards. The mindset of Dan Lanning. We've seen the pregame speeches. We've seen them handle Ohio State in Oregon. We've seen his culture grow and grow and grow. And there's a reason why they're the number one team in the country. They're going to stay that way. They're going to win this game by more than three and a half points. I'm with you. So we're going all the way. You're talking about their rivalry with Washington at halftime. He's got their helmet in there. They're fucking beating Beat. the helmet on the ground, keeping the boys motivated. And again, the whole mentality, the the uh, sports psychology of the boys just putting their heads down and envisioning the moment with the little gong thing going off while he's talking. I love Oregon in this game. I think they stay undefeated. I think they stay. The they're going to go into the college football playoff as the one seed. I like Oregon covering two minus three and a half against Penn State. James Franklin, he does. He shells up against top five teams, and that's been his resume. Yeah, I, I like everything y'all said, but I'm gonna take the under in this game. <laughs> so Oregon, I mean, that, that's not a bad bet. No, it's, it's not, not a bad, bad bet. I will just take the under in this game. Just, just you got to remember in the the under hit in this six of Oregon last eight games when they're the favorite. So I'm just gonna. Because I don't think Penn State wins in a shootout. They would win if they make it physical and it comes out in the fourth quarter. And then if Oregon runs away with it or they control the game, it's going to be because Penn State's offense doesn't show up against the top five opponent. And, I mean, Oregon I mean Oregon did what they got. Tez uh, Johnson back, I think, the receiver. He didn't play crazy last uh, last week because he just had came off an injury. I think he had three catches for, like, 36 yards. But this year. Who's number seven? The kid that went off against Ohio State. What was his name? Evan Evan Stewart. That kid's a baller, bro. But him he and Tim and uh, Evan and uh, Tess together, what, they got like 13 touchdowns. No. 
twelve hundred and some yards. They, they got Dylan Gabriel dishing them. Well, Dylan too. Gabriel, yeah, he yeah. out there doing his damn thing, yeah. you know. But yeah, All so right. I'm gonna take the under in that one. Tear talk. Yeah, tear talk. Presented by Duke Cannon. Maybe you've seen Duke Cannon products in Target, Walmart, or your local hardware store. And if not, let me introduce you. Duke Cannon makes a variety of men's grooming goods, big ass bricks of soap, thick body wash, beard care, beard care stuff, colognes, and hair wash. They also donate money to veteran causes each year through the Duke Cannon Veterans Fund. Simply put, they give a damn. And their products work hard and smell terrific. Most of the year, your boys, we love the sawtooth thick body wash. Okay. Then in the fall, I enjoy their Buffalo Tray soaps. But in, but during the holiday season, which is here and upon us, I put their big ass lump of coal soap on my wish list because it is a holiday classic like Die Hard. Shop now at DukeCannon.com, Amazon and Target or at Walmart. They're everywhere. Go forth and save up to 20% on Yuletide soap, bundles and gift sets. The products, the packaging, you won't find better gifts for men on your list this year. Duke Cannon, fellas. I had a question. How do y'all bathe? Do y'all put the soap in the towels, lather it up, then use it? Or do you do just the, the soap, the big ass lump? Once upon soap? a time when I was a primitive caveman, I used to do that until just the Cannon soap. came into my life and they gave us those little pockets. So you take this, this you soap put it in the pocket and you put it in, they have the thing and it actually ends up being like a squeegee scrub. type of yeah. scrubs for you. So you're exfoliating and cleaning at the same time. I, I mean, that's how I, you know. And then you get to simply hang it back up in your, ba- in your shower. Well, that's what I do. I just wanted to see what you guys did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen you shower. I know you shower. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've seen you shower. I use gloves. Very thorough. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> Very thorough. Boys in there playing doctor when he showers. Yes, sir. Uh, so tier talk this week. This is how we're going to structure it. The tier uh, tier yes. one is the SEC championship. Tier two is Big Twelve nice. championship, and tier three is ACC championship. We'll start with tier one: Georgia versus Texas. Texas is favored at two and a half. The total points in that game is 30, 49 and a half points. Yeah, there's a little pocket like that. Yeah, that's the you pocket. like that. It's nice. You like that? Yeah, I like that. I'm actually going to take this. Interesting it's game yours. here. Yeah, yeah. Because Georgia dog walked Texas. They did. They handled them. Handled them. Quinn Ewers comes out for a couple of series. They Pissed on his leg. They put Manning back in and they put Quinn Ewers back in. It's like, what's really gonna <laughs> what going to happen here? What is going to happen? I got Texas. Ooh. I think Texas. I weirdly think so, too. I feel uh, like they've seen the, the, when the get back. The stage that was there when Georgia came in, it was the biggest game of the week. And they saw the outfit. They felt the stage. They didn't rise to the occasion. Right. And I think they are going to be motivated to right their wrong in the SEC championship this week. And again, Georgia coming off a very emotional win. Along, like I mean, they're grinding out for eight overtimes against Georgia Tech. They're going to be they're going to be dragging a little bit. They're excited that they're in the SEC championship. Right. They know that their fate. They're already locked into the college football playoff. I do. I see. I see Texas winning this one. A Georgia Tech game too. That. Georgia Tech should have won. There's a couple calls there that should have gone Georgia know. Tech's we all, way. Yeah. But the, I think the two narratives in the locker room is we had to prove a point, Texas, and Georgia's we've done it before, we'll do it again. I think the prove a point goes a lot farther than the we're going to do it again. Yeah. Ewers wants to get this one back. Bad. Bad. And even if it's you see Manning a lot more, because you just don't know how teams are going to handle this game because everybody's kind of in the college football playoff. Yeah. Man, it's a tough one for me. Ah, like, again, you just said it. Georgia's been here. Georgia's seen it. They've been in that action. Sometimes I, I kind of like the players, the coaches, the who's been there before. Mm. They know how to handle that. You know what I mean? Texas getting up. You know, they've been there way back in the day when they didn't have old buddy, the quarterback, number 10. Oh, yeah, Vince no, Young. Vince Young. Vince Young. Yeah, so they – Yeah, mean, Cole McCoy. Shout out to yeah, Cole they, McCoy. Yeah, yeah Cole McCoy. Cole yeah, so they've they they been there before, but not right now. So – I'm going Georgia, man. I think Georgia is going to come in there. I mean, Texas went to the playoff last year. I know they did. And Georgia didn't because they lost the SEC championship against against Alabama. I guess Alabama, which is true. This is a makeup. They they, they feel like they were, you know, they let everybody down in Georgia. They should have beat Alabama. They didn't. Now they're coming back. They got Texas. Who they handled. No, I'm with you. This is going to be an awesome game to watch. That'll be fun. That would be fun. That would be Are you fun serious? Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. I'm I mean, same thing Georgia. for Penn State, Oregon. Yeah, I'm taking Georgia. No, they haven't played this year. That's right. They didn't Georgia. play this year. It, it would, it would have been Ohio yeah. State, like a moment to where they could have saw Ohio State again in the Big Ten Championship and then possibly seen them again in the College World right. Playoff. Right. Quick stat. You got a stat? You got a stat by Big Sherm. Quick stat, rematches in championship games, 70% of the time, the team that lost the first game 
wins the rematch. Texas. That's a big stat. It's a good uh, stat. That's yeah. That's I appreciate nice. that, Sherm. Who who where did you get that stat from? Probably the internet. <laughs> Reddit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, tier like two. Hey, the Big Twelve like Championship. Fired up. Fired I know, up. I know we're all fired, fired up. up. I know you're fired up. Arizona Big State. Big 12, boy. Tier 2, Big 12 championship. Iowa State versus Arizona State. Arizona State favored by two in this one. The over-under is 51. It's easy. Clearly run away, Kenny Dillingham. They were favored by eight points against U of A last week. They slacked those boys. They handled, they handled their business. Mm-hmm. They have lost two games this year, both close games. One of them, their quarterback was out. Yep. Kenny Dillingham, we sat with him in the spring game. Was it two years ago or last year? Two years ago, thank you. And just seeing his passion revolving around Tempe, Arizona, a kid that went to Chaparral High School about 20 minutes north of there, loves Arizona. He's been to Auburn. He's been to Oregon. He's he's going to have opportunities to go to, quote, unquote, bigger schools. He said, fuck that. I want to stay here. I want to stay in Tempe. And I want to make this a powerhouse. Something that people in Arizona have looked at Tempe and been like, how is this place not? There's beautiful women. There's, be- there's beautiful school. weather. It's a big-ish school. Mill Avenue is a great time. Old Town Scottsdale is just up the road. It has all the makings to be like, hey, you can come here. You can have a lot of fun, win a lot of games. True. With Kenny Dillingham, you're doing that. I love Arizona State. Yeah. I think minus two is huge. I think these boys are going to pull it off, and I'd like to see them get a little spicy in the playoff. Don't know. Don't know about that, but I love them. I mean, you get in the, the dance, 12. you got a shot. I'm like, they come up West Coast team. Unless, unless your army, shit. unless your army, according to Will, you got a shot if you get in the dance. I mean, West Coast team. I don't think Boise I'm does. rooting for you. If you anything West Coast, I'm rooting for you. I don't care what it is. Yeah, definitely standing on business. On Arizona business. unfortunately does not have a coast, but I'm with you. They Southwest. Yes, they are. So I fuck with them. I like Arizona State <laughs> just because I want them to win. I like Dillingham. Yeah. I'm a big fan it's of his. Yeah, he re- when he reached out to us, wanting us to coach a spring game. Like I just, yeah, I want Arizona State to win. They're Team on a good it. run right now. They have a lot of momentum, a lot of inspiration. They're playing for a lot of like hype and bringing a lot of like notoriety and publicity around the program. I just want Arizona State to win, so I'm going to Arizona State minus two. I'm taking Arizona State too. I already told y'all. Y'all know what time it is. It's just so <laughs> it's so fun to see Arizona State be good. Like when I was in high school, there was a bunch of like kids who like loved being in Arizona. They they stayed, but it was it's not Arizona's not necessarily the biggest hotbed for football. And then you bring in Herb Ev- Herm Herm, Herm Edwards. Edwards. Yeah, Herm, Herm Edwards. Edwards. You think okay, ASU's going to turn around? He shit the bed. Shit the bed. <laughs> kind of try to run that program like NFL. You can't, yeah, really do, you that can't in college. do that. And then this young cat dude, young cat comes in fire. He is like kind of not a lot like this, but he's similar to Jameis Winston. The fact that when he talks, he goes viral. Yeah. Like he's yeah. always got these viral moments yeah. of saying awesome things. The, they storm the field, not once, not twice, but three times. And that's only in two different games because of what happened. Yeah. 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 Who did they play Was that BYU? Oh yeah. They, they had to go back BYU? out because the game wasn't over yet. Go yeah. back. There's a video, sure, there's a video the, of an Arizona uh, State fan sitting in the blue go. tent for BYU, just waiting for them to, to miss. And then BYU gets into the one yard line. It's just crazy. <laughs> I love I love what ASU is doing, man. I I'm love ASU. I ain't gonna cap. Took a recruiting trip there. Pfft, best time of my life. Yeah. But if I knew I would have went there, I wouldn't have went to the league. Yep. That's a big back reason then. why I didn't go either. Back then. No, back then <laughs> it was that's when they had the, the Playboy bunnies, sorority. The Tempe twelve. The Tempe twelve. Yeah. It was lit. There's really a vote at the school. Who are the twelve hottest girls? And then they vote, they decide, and then the twelve hottest girls go into a sexy calendar. Hey, I'm, they he not lying, bro. It used to be off used to be up. My first ever foam party was in Arizona What's State. What's a foam party? Where they put all the bubbles. They put the all the bubbles. Oh, in. foam! I thought you said phone. No, no, like, no, no, no foam. Fun picks. Yeah, that was lit. That's awesome. There was a fun stat too at ASU. It's like one in three have STDs. Oh, I believe that. that. From the foam yeah. parties, yeah. too. From the foam parties. From the foam parties. Yeah, yeah. 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 a ceiling shot right after that foam party. Yeah. 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 ACC Championship, Clemson versus mm. SMU, who's mm. had a sneaky great season. Mm. SMU is favored by two and a half. The over-under on this game is 57. I love, I, I love that SMU has handled their business. They, have a, 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 they had a little hiccup against BYU earlier in the year. Yeah. I love everything SMU's done. But I want Clemson to win this game because I want chaos going into this whole college football playoff, setting it up next. Because if Clemson wins, they're in the college football playoff. South Carolina, a three-loss team in the SEC, who people have been arguing about. There's been an argument over Bama, Ole Miss, South Carolina. If Clemson wins this ACC championship, uh, South Carolina's last win will be over the ACC champion, mm-hmm. who's going to be in the college football playoff. 
Yep. I think Clemson, because they had a very tough loss in their rivalry game against South Carolina. But at the end of the day, it's similar to Ohio State. And I know we you, get, you get, have your moment with Ohio State, but it's one of those things where you can walk in the room. Hey, fellas, fucking forget about this last game because we have a shot to win the ACC championship because Miami dropped one last week. Uh, Syracuse did us a favor. Let's win this ACC championship, and we are in the college football playoff, and that, that loss will not fucking matter because we're in the dance. So I'm going for Clemson as the underdog. Uh, to win this game, that's where I'm going with my ACC championship pick. I like it. And, JP, correct me if I'm wrong, but when they announced the college football playoff, it was like you guys weren't even the next two teams in. No, we're 14. That's <laughs> fucking hard. I saw that You guys yeah. deserve it. Yeah. You saw Alabama was in there. That A, that A is just loud. I mean, Sam is getting in there if they're a four loss. It's going to always get in. It's like the Kansas City Chiefs disgusting. of college football. Yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> We did we last can't. year. We retired your coach last year. We, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the road, the road. We can bully. yell at the clouds, G. <laughs> bully y'all. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Clemson as well. SMU, man. I, I just like what they got this going on. I, know, I, I don't. I, I, I like, just like what they got going on, and they ain't getting paid for this shit. I do they're doing that. it for free. Do, they're yeah. doing it yeah, for yeah, free. Yeah. They're, they're giving the ass. birds for free. Yeah. <laughs> My pick's all about the chaos, but I do. I love that SMU. They're a one-loss football team. They can win the ACC championship and get themselves. Uh, they they get themselves a bye, right? If they win this, if one. if they're if they get ranked over Boise yeah. State, I know they're kind of in that kind yeah, of mix. Yeah, they, they win this one. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I like I like the SMU thing too. The, the ACC championship is a win-win to me. Yeah, I, I Clemson. I just really want that for JP. They deserve it, man. Horrible game overall. Two teams that don't deserve to go into the playoffs. Oof. Like who? JP. Just Clemson love, and love part two. If SMU, SMU wins a championship game, of course they deserve to go into yeah, the playoffs. Yeah, they twelve and one. There's only one team that deserves to go to the playoffs. Oregon. That's South Carolina. Oh, yeah, South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell he's projecting. He's just trying to hurt every other team that could possibly have, deserve the go. Every <laughs> other pick. Um, all right, Ballsy Pick presented by... Ballsy Parlay. Oh, Ballsy, yeah. Ballsy Parlay. Parlay. Presented by Fireball. The fire, uh, the Ballsy Parlay Pick of the Week is sponsored by Fireball. Fireball is the perfect shot for game day, whether you're buying those sneaky little shooters before going to the stadium or going big with a Fireball cake at, for your tailgate. Whether it's a pregame shot at a tailgate lot or a celebratory touchdown shot at the bar, no matter what, it's guaranteed to ignite your game day. The parlay, boys. It's, it's getting kind of... I have a plus 841 for us. Go ahead. Go ahead. Plus 841. Love it. Oregon money line, Boise State money line, Arizona State money line, and Clemson money line. It's plus 841. I know that goes against the SMU pick. Which one? I'm nervous about this Georgia-Texas game. I'm nervous about it. I think, I think, Texas, I think Texas wins it. But again, it's like I'm not confident enough to put it in my ballsy parlay. Right. Because it's like I want Arizona State to win. I feel better about that game than playing Iowa State. I feel great about Boise State taking care of business and, and earning their stripes in the playoff. I feel great about Oregon winning their game. And I want to see – I think Clemson has a shot to kind of throw that game away last week. And, and again, Syracuse kind of doing them a favor of getting them into the ACC and kind of having that motivation to go and win and get in the playoff after they've lost a couple games. You this said year. Oregon money line. Yeah, Oregon, Boise State, Arizona State, and Clemson. All money lines. That's a four pick parlay that is plus 841 in the DraftKings app right now. If I take out Clemson, plus 340. If I take out, because Clemson's an underdog. They're the underdog. So in you that got game. plus 141 going into adding that to a parlay. So if you just do Arizona State, Boise State, and Oregon, that's plus 340. I know for our ballsy pick, our ballsy parlay, we want it to be over plus 300 odds. So if that's a three-legger you want to touch, go ahead. Um, but I am. I'm going to add in Clemson to make it like plus 841. And just locks it. in that parlay for $1,000. I'm going to just I'm gonna lock that in. But, hey, I'm going I'm to lock that in, but I'm going to just take out the Clemson one just because it goes against my SMU bet. I, I took the Clemson one out too. Yeah. I did uh plus three forty. Yeah, yeah, if you do the three leg, Oregon, it's plus three forty. ASU, just put a thousand on it. If you yeah, do the four that's... leg with your boy, that's plus eight forty one. <clears throat> yeah, also, I'm gonna shout take out, that. Uh, but... Ohio State for making my DraftKings account that much bigger this weekend. <laughs> wow. Appreciate you guys, man. The what gift. Nothing. Man, we Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you guys don't hit the agent of chaos, dude? Agent yeah. of fucking chaos. <laughs> Cut off your pinky. <laughs> oh, shit. All fan right. call-in. Fan call-in. Oh. <laughs> the fan call-in parlay presented by True Classic Tees. 
Uh, Taylor. Oh wait, you're not. You're True on. Classic suit. I am. Yeah, I got on. I got on True Classic. The boy Delaney. He's got, got on True Classic. True classic. It does. It looks like you hit the gym every week when you get on True Classic. Definitely. The True yeah. Classic team is sending out codes to hook you up with True Classic. So be sure to give them a shout out in our comments here and on our socials using hashtag, oh. hashtag there he is. True Classic Caller for a chance to win. Upgrade your wardrobe and save on True Classic at trueclassic.com. Again, drop the hashtag in the comments. Drop the hashtag on our socials using hashtag True Classic Caller for a chance to win. They'll be giving out prizes and gift cards and some some shopping sprees for you on Christmas. That ass tag bag, was man. close. That what? Ass tag. I know, ass tag, <laughs> ass tag. All that thick talk in the beginning. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> thinking yeah. different. Drop that ass tag in the comments. All right, let's look at this uh, fan call and parlay. Boston, boys. I know, Indian, shocking. Before I give out my truly classic parlay, I want to emphasize and make sure this is for Sherman, Jared, devilishly handsome JP, all the boys in the back. Will, Taylor, don't even bother watching the rest of this. Will, I will never forget what she said about UTEP and the Mighty Miners. You're lucky that game was in Lincoln. Because if you came down to West Texas, down to that Sun Bowl, we would have beat that. And Taylor... Disrespectful. I'll never forget and I'll never forgive. Now that those two are not listening and not allowed to bet this parlay, let's get into some winners. Saturday morning, early, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy day. We're hungover, doesn't matter. Take the under in the Jacksonville State. Don't worry about it. Don't watch the game. Wake up and already know that one leg of your parlay hit. Saturday, done with, enjoy, go out with the boys, have yourself a time. Sunday, Sunday, we lock in. This is where we're going to take the Carolina Panthers to cover. 12, and 12 points is a shit ton of points. F the Eagles. Bryce Young's on one. We're going to keep it close. We're going to keep it tender. Lastly, just for our rooting interest for the hearts of America, Jabu, baby. He's going to cover. We know it. Probably outright win. NFC North, throw the record birds out. No love lost. That's our play. That's our winner. That's our pick. Truly classic parlay. And again, Will, lucky you didn't go to El Paso. And Taylor, Josh Norman would have beat your that's a that's a losing parlay. Losing yeah. parlay. There's no way that one. Parlay hits. is not gonna. Hit. Never seen a man the so Panthers? confident with a speech impediment like that. So <laughs> those S's. Yeah. In oh, my the, life. The that's Panthers. Yo. Listen, I'll, I'll ride this Jacks. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll throw a solo in on the Jacksonville State, just betting the under. But Panthers to cover. I do like the uh, Jameis Winston one to cover. I can't but wait for that's that a to be on the call of shame. Yeah, can't wait for it. He may hit because. He may hit. Dude, the best is, Karan. ooh, he may hit. ooh, black. I know, shocking, Indian. Okay. <laughs> Indian. That's perfect. That was perfect. All right, great show, horrible ending. Those are plus five. <laughs> and those odds, if you do want the fan call and, fan call and parlay of the Jackson, Jackson State under, uh, the Panthers to cover plus 12 against the Eagles, and the Browns to cover plus six and a half against the Steelers, those odds are plus 595 on DraftKings. Great Don't show. Take it, though. Great, great show. show. <laughs> Great show. Big hugs, tiny kisses. Please subscribe. Please comment. We'll see you guys next time.